All right, what is up, Transformer fans? This is the video review of Transformers Prime First Edition Deluxe Class Starscream. Here he is in his jet mode, and I'll go ahead and cover his weapons real fast. Uh, he comes with a identical set of two missile pods. Now, in the show, he has one missile on each arm, but these are so small and so intricate, and this flimsy rubber plastic, which they had to use for it, which turns up on the figure in some spots, uh, they they had to make it three missile pods, which I like the look of it. I think it gives him just a little bit of a beefier look on his arm because his arm is already thin, and I'll get to that when I transform him into robot mode. But these aren't bad. I really do like the, the weapons here. The missile pod feels a lot more... Um, feels a lot more realistic of something that would be on a jet if w just one missile on the underside of the jet doesn't really feel um, it doesn't really feel right I think a set of three missiles on each wing for a total of six missiles is a pretty good armament for any dogfight so uh, unfortunately they're supposed to be red in the middle but they are just molded out of this soft gray plastic but you do get two of these so and uh, I think it's Dr. Wu but I do believe they made accurate uh, missile pods. So, here's that. Uh, then you can put them on the underside here. There's a little groove right there. And they just sit right on there. And as a matter of fact, one missile would, it just, like I said, it would look weird. Now, the three missile pods just feel, they feel right. So, I'll go ahead and take these off because they're prone to falling off, which is one of their weaknesses. And I'll get to that later. Um, Starscream's jet mode. He is a very nice... I'm not sure what this is. This isn't a Harrier. He was a Harrier in Animated. I'm not sure what this is. F... Some... I'm wanting to say F-15. Plain guys, you're going to tell me I'm wrong, because I just know I'm wrong. Um, he's a nice, very um, medium silver color here on the fuselage. He has a light silver here, where the chest is going to eventually be some red detailing by the cockpit back here, and the wings are this very nice, darker color with the uh, medium silver and the dark, dark gunmetal gray back here on the rear flaps. His cockpit is that same dark gunmetal gray, and his nose cone is, is this flimsy gray plastic. Coming to the back, his tail fin has a red detail stripe on it, and so do his... Uh, side tail fins. His thruster is a very nice molded dark gray plastic and the same can be said for the legs which are simply attached to the underside of the jet mode which is one of my problems with him which I will get to later or I will get to after this because this is the paint job. Uh, you can see the crotch section here has that silver with the gun metal in the middle. Uh, the same medium gray plastic on the legs with the gun, uh, the darker gray molded plastic. Uh, these are the, his knee fins, and I'll get to those later, but they are that soft rubbery plastic. He has red detailing right there, and silver detailing where his feet are. The only reason I am saying details about the legs in jet mode is because they stick out, and that brings me to my biggest complaint about this figure, is that the legs just are stuck on the underside of the jet mode. Now, this is a reoccurring problem with all star screams except for this one. These his legs fold up right. And if you want to see this guy, go see his review. So he he is the only one who really ends up having a smooth underbelly. All the other star screams do not. Um as you can see here, they've incorporated a wheel into his crotch upper like kind of belly button area and there are wheels right there where his feet are. They do not roll. It's just kind of something to sit him on. But if you're looking at it from the front, it doesn't look too bad. It If the cockpit was sitting down a little further, it would actually look like the fuselage. But from the side, it just looks unaerodynamic. It looks like there are literally legs attached to the underside of a jet. And I wish there was a way to avoid this look, but um, this is just a... That's Like I said, it's my biggest problem with the figure, and... If it's a reoccurring problem with the other Starscream toys, I don't see it as that big of a problem because if they fix it on the other ones, I would expect them to fix it on the first edition. But like I said, it's on the other Starscream toys as well. And it's the biggest gripe about this figure. It's just that their legs on the underside of a jet mode. And as much of a aesthetically unpleasing problem it is, 
it it is the worst of it. So, and for some of you, you will think I'm over talking this. Yes, I feel like I am as well, but I feel like it needs to be addressed for some people who do not like, who 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 want aesthetically pleasing jets. This is a toy. Of course, it's going to have faults, but that is the biggest of them. So I figured I needed to get that out of the way because I've heard lots of complaints about that on the boards. So moving on from that, his transformation. What you want to do first is you want to grab the wings and they just pull down and out, pull down and out. Take the legs, untab them from the side here, and they just come loose. Then you take the whole crotch section and it swings up and out. And then it rotates three, not 300, 180 degrees, and then it slides up and tabs in right there. Then you can rotate this whole section around, and there you go. You're getting his chest done. Flip up the knee guard. Come around here, flip up the fin on the back, and splay the feet. Once again, flip up the knee guard. His leg falls off. <laughs> uh, clip up the rear fin, and then splay the feet. Go ahead and reattach his leg. Now, um, I'm going to move these out of the way to get to the upper body. Then you take the whole rear set of the rear fins, and all this just comes apart. Then you can take the wings, just kind of move them back out of the way. You move these down, rotate them like a so. Then with his wings, he's just kind of a mishmash of parts right now. You want to take this whole section and it pulls backwards. And then the front of his chest actually rotates forward to give him that hunch, but it also rotates forward to give uh, a little bit more clearance for the face to be extruded. And then you just want to kind of collapse all this up. You want to take the tail fin and it splits and rotates all the way around like so. Then you take the jet thru th uh, thruster, rotate it around 180 degrees, and all this just kind of accordion collapses up. And then two little tabs go into the neck and then you can lower his head and snap that into place. Then with the wings now you can rotate them up. They just kind of accordion fold in and then rotate up. Now his arms, you rotate them, pull them down, flip out the hand, and then rotate this tail fin up onto the arm. Once again, you're going to go ahead and pull this down, then rotate it about 80, 90 degrees, flip out the hand, and then rotate the fin up. And then I'll put his weapons on, but I want to stand him up first. Here we have Starscream in his robot mode. And he is a very nice figure if I can move him back far enough. As you can see, he looks completely like he does in the show, and there's no doubt about uh, that that is Starscream. And so, just, like I said, it is. it looks uncannily like him. Um, there really isn't any kibble except for the cockpit hanging off of his rear end, which I will get to later. But other than that, he, he looks spot on. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, cover his details real fast. Um, we'll start at the face. I'll zoom in here on the face. Focus. As you can see, that looks exactly like Starscream should. He's got that little smirk, one eyebrow is kind of slightly raised, and just those beady red eyes. The only unfortunate part about the head here is that this, this uh, crest up here is this soft rubbery plastic, and it should be red. Other than that, there's really nothing wrong with that face. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Moving down, you can see this whole, um, that was on the fuselage of the jet. This is now his chest. Uh, part of the cockpit has been kept as his abdomen, which is completely show accurate. Uh, those red details right there with the crotch section, and then the legs that I've already talked about with those these fins folded out, and the soft, rubbery knee spikes. His shoulders have revealed a couple of blue bits, which is very aesthetically pleasing in there with the red. He's got the blue kind of armor underneath his shoulder, and then the blue fin on the side of his hand. Coming around to the back, you can see, oh, he fell over. Um, I'm going to need both hands for this, so I'm going to have to set the camera down and straighten him back up. As I do so. As you can see, the wings have folded up into the proper configuration with the thruster on his back, and like I said, the only kibble is this cockpit right here, and it's even, that's even out of the way. 
this is the proper configuration for his wings. He's got the split wings, and they don't stick. They stick out to the back, not up and out to the side. Um, and the tail fin is split to give him that extra set of kind of smaller wings in there on his back. So with that there, you can see the arms have that darker gray plastic up on the upper forearm, and the hands are that darker gray as well. I did not cover that when I was on the arms. Speaking of the arms, his weapons do tab in on these little um, the tail fins that had folded up. The missile pods fit right on there. And so there he has his missile pods on his arms. And there's that. So I'm going to go ahead and do his articulation. If I can take his missiles off. So Starscream, along with his fellow first edition wave mates, has a very good amount of articulation. I'm going to start at the head, of course. He has a full ball jointed neck, looking up, down, and even if you want to disconnect this neck joint, you can kind of raise his neck up and down and sink it, or you could have him look up as if he's flying. Um, but all you got to do is pop that. Um, the little swivel out of his neck right there. His shoulder is fully ball jointed with a slot to where it can swivel up like that. But it is fully ball jointed. It does have a a upper bicep swivel, a incorporated swivel joint right there from the transformation, and a fully 90 degree articulated elbow. His wrist is on that double joint so you can get a lot of cool poses out of it. His lower body is articulated, but it is off-center. So any swivel you're going to do is going to have it looking very awkward, unless you do it slightly. If you were just to slightly pop it off that clicky joint, you can have him looking a tad normal. But if you were to go like that, it's not going to look normal. His uh, thigh is a ball joint with a swivel up at the upper thigh. His, he has a fully articulated knee and the feet do swivel about mm, 30 degrees. It's, it's a good little swivel. Each toe is individually articulated, so you can have him pointing his toe or flexing it, so uh, you get a lot of good articulation out of this guy. So overall, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to compare him to Bumblebee here, but overall I think Starscream is my favorite out of the first edition um, first edition toys because I just feel like even though he's got that leg issue going on he just pulls off this spectacular looking robot mode and he's tall and lanky and as you can see here he's a head taller than Bumblebee which is about right uh, he just he pulls off the aesthetic of being a Starscream so well and I really do love the Transformers Prime Starscream design I'm gonna go ahead and put him next to his mini me as you can see, what I was talking about in the little Starscream review, how some things are just wrong with this Starscream's proportions, you can now see what I was talking about, because the legs feel a little small on the Cyberverse, and it's not on the big one. The big first edition Starscream is just beautifully proportioned, he's beautifully articulated, so much detail on one figure, with the minor nitpick of having legs on the underside of his jet mode. And I don't even display him in jet mode that often. I just, for those of you who do like jets, that was for you. So, um, this is Starscream. He's a wonderful figure. First edition's doing a second run. I would definitely pick him up if you see him. Thank you for viewing this video, and goodbye.